Hey, Mikey with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Hefe by Southwest Bag Company. We'll start with the design. And Southwest is a smaller company, and when they do drops or releases on their Facebook page, they release them in small quantities, typically like 15, 20 sets at a time. Each one's a little bit different design, a little different colorway, a little different style. So I say that to say, if you don't like a design, wait for the next release. It might be something you like better. But I, I love what Southwest Bag Company is doing with their designs. I, I think they're, they're awesome designs. This is actually a special release. So this was sent to me by Zach is one of the admins of the fan group on the, the, the Facebook fan group for Southwest Bad Company. And this was this is why it says admin here. This, this is this is his personal set. He sent to me to review. Shout out to you, Zach. I appreciate you doing that. I will get these back to you very shortly. Uh, so this is a design. I love this design. I don't think this design was ever available to the public. I don't know. This may be a one-on-one -on -one set. I don't know. But but definitely check out Southwest Bad Company's Facebook page. Look back at their designs. I think you'll find something you like, as well as they do customs also. So if, if you want something... A uh, design you have, reach out to them. I'm sure they can do that for you. But anyway, love the designs. Material wise, I tell you what, let's start with the fast side here. This fast side material, this is the game changer fast side. Uh, it's, a, it's a very popular material. Most every one of you have probably thrown a bag that has it on there. It's a, it's an eight speed. It's a faster eight. Some people classify it as eight and a half or eight plus. It's just, it's a, it's a fast eight speed material. It slides up in any board conditions. It can push through any congestion on the board. It's fast, but still somewhat controllable. I really like this material, so it's wonderful. You have this eight speed on the fast side. This slow side. This is the, uh, I wish we had a name. I don't, I don't really, this is, this is like the clone carpet. And the reason I said the clone carpet is because a lot of people compare this or say this is the same as the Viper R, Widow R carpet material. It's not the same. It is, it is comparable. It plays a lot like it has a lot of characteristics of it, but it's not the same. When that when when Ultra came out with that that bag, and I did a review of both the Viper and the Widow R. I, I really love the Viper R and the Widow R's was I like that slow sides fast on as much. But but when they came out that everybody loved it and everybody started looking for that material and it, it's really hard to find um, very limited quantities. But but along the way somebody came across this material. I don't I don't know who found it first. So anyway, somebody came across it. Across it, and now you're starting to see a lot more companies come with this. You know, the, the Hefe has this, uh, Crazy Eight has it on their eight legged, the uh, um, the X level lights out uh, did has it on their their regular lights out and the round two, uh, KDS has it on the wave bag, uh, Sub Zero has it on the winter tide bag, B3 has it on the coyote bag, um, BS Cornhole has it on the trimmer bag. I mean, there, there's a ton of bags that are using this material, and you're going to start seeing a lot of these in my reviews because I've got a lot of these bags to review. I, I actually like this material better than that uh, slow sight on the Viper. I think this is just a touch faster, but it, which makes it, it's a touch faster, a little more hole friendly. I, I just think it's a better material, and I'm really falling in love with this material here. So anyway, this plays to me like a five speed. It's kind of that, it's maybe on that slower end, but it's a five speed material here. Um, it's a very versatile material. I'll get into that in playability, but you got a five speed on the slow side. You've got an eight, eight and a half speed on the fast side. Template wise, this is just ever so slightly on the larger side of the template, right? And I think it fits really well. This little bit larger template fits great for this, this, this bag and the materials because it makes for a wonderful blocker, right? This larger, this larger template really takes up a little bit more space on the board and cause a little more problems for, for, for your opponent. Uh, the fill in here, it has a blended fill, a mixed fill. I like the fill. You really get, you've got some beads in there. You've got some discs in there. Really, you really get the best of the both worlds. You get, you kind of get the, the, the whole friendliness and benefits. You get of the beads, but you get that nice hand feel that you get from the disc. So all in all, the bag feels wonderful in the hand. The materials, the fill, the amount of fill. Um, it's, it's a floppy bag. It's not, it's not as floppy. So this is, this is not as floppy as the Viper R. It's fuller than the Viper R, but it is not as full as the Widow R. Kind of falls in between those two bags, so it, that helps. Uh, this is probably a touch floppier than the X level lights out I did. Um, in fact, I've got that bag right here. So the, the lights out is a little bit fuller bag than this. This is a little bit looser bag. Uh, but again, I, I love the feel of it. I love that the, this fill has a nice fluid motion to it in there or, or fluid movement in there. It, it really it really tends to want to move. It feels great. I grab it in my butterfly grip and it just spreads out really nice nicely. Um, so all in all, love the feel of the bag, love the materials, love the fill, love the template. All that's wonderful. Now, playability on this. The reason this material is so popular is because of the versatility of it, right? It's, it's a carpet material and... and that being said, you can do everything with this you can with the carpet bag. You can control it. You can throw your blockers up there. You can cause a lot of congestion. You can dirty up the board. You can cut this bag. You can roll it. You can flop it. You can you can shape shots like you normally do. Uh, the bag is is 
full enough that it's pretty easy to collect when you got your blocker there. You can throw your block a little bit over your opponent's side and just come right in the middle. All you do is just catch the corner and you can drag it right down. You don't have to get crazy aggressive with a cut shot or something like that. And so it's it's very easy to collect, which makes it wonderful. It gives you more confidence. When a bag is easy to collect, you have more confidence on that blocker. And you and for me, I have more confidence on that blocker. A little more on my opponent's side, the easier it is to collect. Bags are hard to collect. I tend to pull back towards the middle or even more on my side. I'm scared to put them too far over to, for fear of not being able to collect them or bring them back. Uh, now, sometimes you want you can sacrifice a bag, no big deal. But but this is definitely an easy enough bag to collect. You can put it on your opponent's side without any worries, and you can get around it. And then you know, first bag blocker, next two get around, and then your fourth bag come through collect it, take them both in, no problem, if your opponent hasn't collected it for you. But the beauty of this material here is even if you don't if you don't like to play that style or you don't always want to play dirty style, you can run bags in the hole with this. This this is fast enough. It's hole friendly enough. It, it'll it'll melt in the hole. It doesn't hang up like a carpet material traditionally does. So so when you typically go to the control of a carpet game, you sacrifice some of the hole friendliness. You know, your carpet bags tend to want to hang up a little more. They tend to clog up the hole a little more. You have to make a, a trade-off. But with this material, you're not really losing much of that. Like like this, like I said, it, 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 this bag doesn't hang on the hole like a carpet bag. In fact, to me, this material is more hole friendly than say your Surefire Slow Side. You know, if you throw that Surefire, if you throw bags that have that Surefire Slow Side material on it, I would recommend giving this a try. To me, you can do everything that with that, you, this does everything that Surefire Slow Side does and then some on top of it. I think it's a better material. Again, it's not as hole friendly, or it's more hole friendly. It doesn't hang on the hole like the Surefire Side does. This does have a little bit of a kick to it, but it's not awful. Like that Surefire to me has a bigger kick. This material doesn't slow down and, and become unplayable in those damp, humid conditions like the Surefire does. So if you're playing a Surefire or some version of that Surefire bag, give one of these bags that has this material, you know, give the Hefe a try. I think you're going to fall, you're going to find, you're going to like this material better, but go into a mindset that it's not just a carpet bag because again, you can play the carpet style game with it, but you can also run bags in the hole. You can, and what I love about this bag because of the versatility is I can go up there and I can run bags in the hole for a round or two or three or four rounds, whatever. And then all of a sudden in round three or round five or whatever it is, I can throw a blocker up there and just throw my opponent off balance. Or maybe I want to throw first two bags in the hole, third bag blocker, right? Just keep changing it up, you know, or play the game. If I'm ahead, if I'm ahead in the game, I'll just keep running bags in the hole until I get behind and, and trying to make a points. If I'm behind, start playing a dirty style game, taking it, you know, making the opponent make mistakes so that I can gain points on them, right? So this bag, you can do all of that with it. It's also a wonderful blind draw bag because let's say, you know, let's say you like to play a dirty style game, but you draw an opponent who likes to play a faster bag or who likes to run bags in the hole. Boom, you've got this bag. They can run bags in the hole. You can play a dirty style game, and it does well for both of those. So, so I, I highly recommend checking out these bags. Get at least getting some bag that has this material. I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. It's a wonderful material. But definitely check out the half face. Love the half face. Wonderful bags. I really enjoy throwing them. Put a lot of bags in the hole with them. They play even better in competition than they do just on an open board. Like these are really phenomenal bags. Availability. The the. Hefe's or Southwest Bag Companies does their releases and drops on their Facebook page. Again, I'll put a link in the description for their Facebook page as well as the fan group. You want to join the fan group because that's where they usually a lot of times they'll announce the upcoming drops. The last release they did on these, they went for $100 a set. That's all in. That's shipped to you. That's including ship and everything. So $100 total, which is very reasonable. It's you know it, it's it's right in line with a lot of other bags, and, and you're, it's well worth it. You're getting a quality bag for that. I, I can't recommend these things enough. So definitely go check out Southwest Bag Company. Check out the Hefe. While you're there, check out some of the other bags. They've got a full lineup of bags of varying speeds. Um, check those out. If you um, drop a comment down below. If you've thrown the Hefe's, let me know if you like them or don't. If you haven't, drop it. let me know what Southwest Bag Company bags that you like. What are your favorite bags? I'd love to check out some more of their bags. I really was blown away this bag. I want to get some more of those. Let me know which bag you want me to review next from Southwest Bag Company, guys. So thank you so much for your support. And thanks for watching. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit.